G'day folks. I'm not really from Australia. I just thought that sounded fun to say it that way. Today I'm doing a little bending. Uh, this is a rotary bender and I, I think it's a number two. I'm not sure. Uh, oh, pardon my mess. This is kind of a stack all bench in one of my garages. Actually it's all stack all but uh, I have a clean spot to work here anyway. Uh, oh it's on the big thing you pull here. To bend stuff with so there it's right on the handle uh, it's a number two serial number 6637 and this came from uh, a, a basement out of Chicago I was down there picking up some small press brake uh, equipment actually it wasn't really press brake stuff I guess he had uh, they were presses but they were OBI presses a little open back inclinable he had a whole row of them stacked up in his basement and his dad used to make fishing lures and sinkers and all kinds of fishing related stuff because they were close to a, a big area that people fish in um, called Lake Michigan and anyway the we got basically got all our stuff loaded and my girlfriend's pretty impressed with me you know I got my my little Dodge Dakota stacked full of about mm, maybe 3,000 pounds worth of junk in the in the bed of the box and a trailer with another thousand to fifteen hundred on it and we got to go through, you know, <laughs> a couple of a couple of those gates that got people at them to collect money. And I got some pretty funny looks. But uh, but anyway, we were loaded up, pretty much ready to go. And this sucker weighs a quite a bit. And he asked if there was anything else I saw I'd like to buy. And I said, Yeah, there was a rusty round thing down in the basement down there. And uh, I knew what it was. But obviously, when you're buying, you don't make the seller aware of that. Um, and he said. Oh yeah, my dad used to use that all the time. He goes, I, I have no freaking idea what it does, but he used to he used to bend some stuff around with it to make fishing lures. I said, Yeah, that's pretty much what it does. He goes, uh now mind you, these things I've seen these before and I kinda wanted one. And uh I didn't didn't play it off like I did though. I was like, Yeah, I'd I'd be interested in it if the price was right. And he said, How about fifty bucks? And I said, I don't know. I gotta I got a truckload full of crap here, and I'm thinking maybe 25 or 20 bucks. I said, I, I'm running out of money. I've been handed you my my bills all day, so I, I don't have much left in my pocket. I got to buy gas yet, and, you know, my girlfriend's pretty impressed with me anyway. So uh, I made a deal with him, and I got it for 20 bucks because I, I had a $20 bill, and he's like, yeah, I just want to get rid of the stuff anyway. So I threw it, threw it on the, the truck and I'm sure that truck was way overloaded. Um, but anyway, here it is bolted down in a dungy old garage in Southwest Wisconsin and I'm bending metal with it. So basically what I did is, uh, it's a quick way to, to make a stop and a, if I can get it out of there, a stop and it grabs the material at the same time. I had a hard time with the material slipping. So what I did is I cut a notch out of there and TIG welded a chunk of file on it just real quick. And you know what? It does the trick. Uh, it it de definitely holds. And we'll put this piece back in here and I'll bend it quick. Hard to do this one-handed. I, I do a lot of other things one-handed, but this is... There we go. No jokes about that. So... Uh, all I'm going to do is grab it, the handle, and pull it right around. And it looks pretty close to a loop. And you can see the, the file grabbed this part and held it in place. It left a couple little marks on it, but they just file, they just file right off of there with another. I just use a small bastard file. and um, There you go, little hanger. Easy stuff to make on a diacro bender. Anyway, that's what this one's about. Just showing you that a lot can be done with one of these, and this is just one little project. Uh, there's all those spiral circles. I mean, you can bend different size loops, and, uh, you know, if you've got one of these, maybe this little trick will help you if you're having problems with slippage and you don't want to clamp it. You know, you can make clamps, too. Um but then they get, it's harder to pull your material out of when you're done. This makes it real quick. And, you know, a guy wouldn't even have to take those file marks off of there. But I take another file and just knock them off. It takes two seconds to do. So, 
little project if you've got diacro bender. I hope that helped you. Stay tuned.